Hey y'all, it's Mary. This is Mary Catherine Loves Cats and this is Mask Monday. Welcome. I am going to put on these eye masks. This is the SF um, Gold Foil Eye Mask, the Cannabis Sativa Oil. It's a Korean mask and um, I um, had a couple other things from them. Um, I think there were some lip masks that I gave away and I have not tried these so I thought I would try them. They're very creamy, okay. I wasn't sure what they were gonna be like. So these are um, super cute. They have an animal print. Oh, it smells really good. I might, let's see. They're big, sort of goes onto my nose a little bit. It says to leave them on for 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, it feels very good. I have these in my little refrigerator that I got from Face Tori. So they feel really good. It's getting very um, warm here, it, which it usually does in May. Um, it's getting to be where I, get, I think it's gonna be 90 tomorrow. There's a cat start racing through the house and moving things around. Okay, these are this is very nice. I have not tried these before. They're cute. They got the animal print to them. And it says to leave on for 10 to 15 minutes. So I was gonna see. Um, it says that it's calm, hydrate, smooth, and brighten. So, and then I thought I would do this mask. This is the Cream Shop Wrinkle Warrior. Um, this is for your forehead. So let's see what that's about. You know, I've got to tell y'all, this just smells so wonderful. I was thinking they were going to be sticky, those, but this is, um, this, um, essence or serum, whatever you want to call it. It smells so wonderful, it's sort of minty. Um, okay, and then this, let's see what this looks like. I love the Cream Shop, they have great masks. Okay, this is folded in half, and then it has um, this plastic here, and then it has this cardboard, oh, and it actually does say the queen or something like that on there, it says queen. All right, let's see. Woo, it's a little slick. All right. That's funny. Okay, so. I have some um, Would You Rathers that I put together. They're summer. Summer Would You Rathers. Let me see first about getting this on straight. Uh-oh. It says Queen, it's so funny. I've seen these on the FabFitFun sales, or maybe it's the boxy sales. Um, but this I got in a box. So it's a little, it should be over a little bit to the right, but it's hard, once it's stuck on you, it's hard to move. It feels very nice too. Rub it in a little bit. Okay, so. Hmm. This is just, a, I should have it a little, like I said, a little, a little more that way, but I can't quite move it. So, okay. Let's see. I've got these um, summer would you rathers and um, anybody can do these. If you like doing this type of thing, um, it's just something to do while we're doing our mask Mondays. And so I enjoy doing them and um, uh, we learn a little bit more about each other. If anybody wants to do them, please do them and let me know so I can watch your, um, watch your video it would be great. Okay, so number one is, would you rather swim in the ocean or swim in the lake? And I have done both many times. And um, the ocean, um, I have several times, um, you know, been sucked under and um, that scares me a little bit. So now I'm talking about when I was younger, um, but I much prefer a lake because a lake is usually calm. It doesn't have those waves coming in. I love to, I prefer to look at the ocean, but I prefer to be in the lake. So, and would, do you prefer to float in a pool or swim in a pool? And I do like doing both, um, but you know, for good relaxation, I would love to be on a float and just float in the pool. And would you, if you're having a picnic, would you rather sit on a blanket on the ground or sit at a picnic table? And um, I used to love to um, have picnics where you sit on a blanket on the ground 
um, you know, with um, a boyfriend or something or, you know, a husband or something like that. <laughs> um, but as I'm older, it's harder to get up off the ground. So probably a picnic table would be better. But I remember uh, we used to have picnics every year. My mom's side of the family, uh, we'd have a big family, um, uh, what do you call that? When everybody gets together, family reunion, I guess, picnic. And sometimes you would be sitting on one of those um, picnic tables and somebody would get up and whoop, the table would go like this or something. So it was, you know, <laughs> you can have trouble with, with both. Um, number four, would you prefer fried chicken or sandwiches at your picnic? And um, they're both very nice. Fried chicken would be the preference. But if you're gonna do, I like the idea of doing a really quick, hey, it's a beautiful day, let's just go out and, and have a picnic. So you just, you know, throw together something you have in the house and make some sandwiches and go. Bring some fruit, bring some chips or something, be nice. And number five is, would you rather go to an outdoor concert or watch a parade? And again, both very nice things. I love out in, um, in Chicago, there is Ravinia. It's an outdoor um, concert place that is just absolutely beautiful grounds. Um, and I really enjoyed it. It would mostly, mostly the music that they used to do. I'm not sure what they do now. Um, and probably not nothing, nothing at the moment because of COVID anyway. But um, it's, a, it's a summer series and they do classical music. And it's just so beautiful because what you do there is you do bring your blanket and um, you can bring um, lawn chairs, but you can bring a blanket and um, uh, sit on the ground and you can bring a picnic basket and you can bring a bottle of wine. You can bring some little hors d'oeuvre things and sit with your friends and have a really nice time listening to the, to the beautiful, beautiful music. I really miss that and enjoy doing that. Number six, would you rather go garage sailing or fishing? And um, no questions there, garage sailing for me, I love, thrift shopping. I love garage sailing. I um, have been fishing in my lifetime. It's just uh, um, can be a little boring for me. Um, so, but um, I have done it and um, I'm, you know, I can handle it, but um, I'd rather definitely go yard sailing. Uh, would you rather ride a bike or lay out in the sun? And uh, that's number seven. I would much rather ride a bike. I have never been a big uh, sun worshiper. I love the sun. I love to be outside, in, but I don't like to be in the sun. I like to be in the shade. and um, But I like to be like the shade and then the sun is right here. I like the, the sun to be out. I love the sun streaming in my windows. Absolutely adore it. Um, but I don't like to be in the direct sun. Um, and I've always been that way a good portion of my life where my um, a lot of my family were big sun worshipers. So um, I think it's... Um, uh, better you know, nowadays it's best to not do that um, and when I was a kid they didn't have sunscreen or if they did we didn't know about it so you know there's a lot of damage to people my age our skin and all okay number eight is would you rather play volleyball or sit on the sidelines and um, when I was younger I loved when people would play volleyball we um, my uncle and aunt would have this big fourth of July party and um, everybody, all ages would play volleyball and it was so much fun. But I never was very good at it because I was so, you know, little, you're little and the big people and, you know, I never was very good at it. And, um, but I still like to do it. Um, but at my age now, probably, I probably sit on the sidelines and watch, uh, most likely. Um, number nine, would you rather go to a baseball game or would you rather play a baseball game? And that's another thing we would do at that 4th of July party is play ba um, a baseball game. And it was always so much fun. Um, and I just loved that um, my uncle and his family and all, all my other relatives from um, the youngest to the oldest would all participate. So, um, you know, they would uh, give the little ones a break um, and help them, you know, to get to get the ball and things like that. So we all we ha would have a great time. Um, and I do enjoy going to a good baseball game. In Chicago, it would be for me, the Cubs. I'm a Cubs fan instead of a White Sox fan. So, but I did enjoy going to a baseball game. But um, again, you can be in direct sun for hours and it can be very unhealthy, but it's just fun to go. And then, you know, you hardly ever see the game. You're gabbing with your friends, you're getting a hot dog, you're getting some popcorn, you know, having a good time like that. So, and then um, number 10 is the last one. Would you rather grill out or order pizza? 
And uh, most definitely, if there's the opportunity to grill out, I'd much prefer that. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be steaks. I love pizza. Pizza's probably my go-to favorite. Um, but uh, when I say that, I don't have pizza very often. Maybe that's why I like it so much. So when I do get it, um, but grilling out is, it could be a real fancy steak. It could be a hot dog. Um, I don't care. I just love um, grilling out. I love um, the food off of a grill. I love, um, my dad used to make um, corn cobs where they're still in the husks and you wrap them. I can't remember what all he did to them, but I think you, you, um, you soak them in water and they um, still have the silk, you know, under the, under the, um, uh, whatever you call it, the um, green stuff <laughs> and um, soak them in water. And then um, when they'd be ready to put on there, you know, you put them in the coals. And I, I think he must, I, if I remember correctly, wrap them in aluminum foil, I think. And they just come out so roasted, toasty, and delicious, and um, that's really fantastic. So that's that's even good. I don't even need a hamburger or anything. I um, just eat uh, corn on the cob. Um, anyway, that's what I've got for y'all today. And I'm going to leave this on a few more minutes. Oh, this feels so good. It feels like it's almost a gel, um, but it didn't appear that way when I was putting it on. But it feels very good. And these feel really nice, really, really nice, y'all. If you ever have the opportunity, I haven't seen it in the wild, but um, FabFitFun had this um, with a lip mask. It came in a three pack, this and a lip mask and um, probably a sheet mask for your whole face. And I even did, when I, I got two of them, um, maybe it was BoxyCharm, uh, but I gave one, I had a giveaway for it. Now that goes back a while. Um, so somebody got it and hopefully they enjoyed it. Um, and um, out of the ones I had left over, I didn't keep the lip mask because I hardly ever do a lip mask, um, but I kept the eyes and I don't, um, the other one I did not keep. I gave that one away as well. So, but it feels so good. And um, it says to leave on, um, this one says 10 to 15 minutes and I'm about done with the eyes. Um, and then the um, forehead also says 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm about done, but I'll get off here and then I will um, go take it off because I think I'm, I like them and they feel good. I'm going to leave them on a little bit longer. Okay. All right, y'all take care and have a great Monday and um, go see all the other uh, Mask Monday ladies and count your blessings, everybody. All right. Bye-bye.